has Andy Isabella done enough to up his trade value? There's some rumors out there saying that there's some teams that might be interested in Andy Isabella. What's going on, Arizona Sports Fan family? We're back at it again with another video here of the AZ Sports Fan. Appreciate you for coming in here, especially for all the new viewers, um, all the new subscribers. Thank you so very much for joining the family. If this is your first time here, definitely subscribe, smack the like button, and join the community. We do Cardinals content almost daily on this channel. So definitely go ahead and subscribe and become a uh, just a member of the community just in general. So let's talk about this real quick, right? Um, obviously, this is rumor. Let's just put this disclaimer out right now. This is straight rumors right now, ladies and gentlemen. But this has been floated around on a very... Um, in my personal opinion, reliable, you know, Twitter page out there. Now, I know there's a lot of Twitter pages out there that kind of claim all this different gibberish stuff out there right now, and, and I get it. But this one also did end up claiming, like, D Ford was going to get released, and he did get released. So I, I want to definitely go ahead and at least humor the fact that there is some teams that could be possibly interested in Andy Isabella. Now, this might be the best time for Andy Isabella to go ahead and... um you don't have an opportunity to get traded to a different team. Now, when you look at our roster right now specifically, especially the wide receiving core, we have such a stacked wide receiving core this year that it almost kind of seems like Andy Isabella is the odd man out. Now, I honestly do feel like even last year he was the odd man out, but we continue to go ahead and bring him into um, the 53-man roster. Now, I do think this year is going to change because we do have Victor Bolden Jr., because we do have Rondell Moore, because we do have, you know, Greg Dortch. Um, I think it might change this year. Now, can we carry, right, six-plus wide receivers? Yeah, it's a definitely a possibility that Andy Isabella can still make his way into the 53-man roster, but this might be the time where his value might be at an all-time high. Now, if you take a look at the uh, past two preseason games, I honestly think that Andy Isabella has done a very good job to go ahead and put his you know, talents on display. Now, when we originally drafted him in the second round, we had such high hopes for Andy Isabella. We really did. And it really does suck that, you know, the situation that we're currently in right now where there's just no room for him. And the way that he just talks, um, there was a, a recent interview from Andy Isabella. And I just, honestly, I, I feel bad for him. But but I, I'm really proud that he's got such high spirits. I'm really proud that he's got so much of a, a positivity outlook on just life and waiting for his opportunity that I honestly do feel like he would be better off on another team. Another thing I want to mention here, I know it's really hard to, you know, consider Andy Isabella getting traded, especially because Cliff Kingsbury, anytime the topic of Andy Isabella comes up, there's just so much glowing remarks coming from Cliff Kingsbury. He really does like Andy Isabella. And what leads him to always kind of make his way in the 53-man roster, regardless if he has a uh, a full-time role or anything like that, he does believe in his talents and what he can do. Now, the rumors currently right now are saying that there's three teams that are interested in Andy Isabella. One of those teams being the Chicago Bears, the second team being the Dallas Cowboys, and then the third team being the Baltimore Ravens. Now, to me specifically, the Dallas Cowboys, it makes sense, but it also kind of doesn't make sense. So I don't want to focus too much on them, but the Ravens, right? I think the Ravens is a strong possibility, um, especially because they lost a talent like Marquise Hollywood Brown. Now, I'm not going to say he's going to be a plug and play player. No, he most likely will be a depth player more than anything. But I don't know. I, the possibility of having a speed wide receiver, especially what he has done in the preseason, looks a little you know, good for Lamar Jackson and, and just to, you know, give him some more weapons, especially the deep threat weapons. Now, taking a look at the Chicago Bears, they recently did have an injury with Nikhil Harry, which is the wide receiver that they ended up bringing in, former ASU wide receiver, which is just unfortunate the way his career is actually turning into. But Andy Isabella does make sense to go to the Chicago Bears as well. Now, keep in mind, like I said a little earlier, this is straight rumors, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not quite 100% sure if there's any validity to these claims or these rumors, but this will be, or this should be the biggest opportunity for the Arizona Cardinals to try to get something from Andy Isabella. Now, let's take a look at his stats here real quick. Um, his game versus the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, he had four receptions, 57 yards. And the game against the Baltimore Ravens, he had five receptions, 54 yards. But not just the receptions or the productivity. I really do feel like he has gotten better as a route runner. I feel like he's gotten better as just 
being more honed into the skill of route running. Um, he did some really nice, crispy, you know, routes during the Baltimore Ravens game. And I really do hope that he can get the opportunity. Now, do I feel like it's going to play out like we all want it to, right? Like a lot of Arizona Cardinals fans want some sort of draft capital. Probably not. Uh, what probably is going to end up happening if he doesn't make the 53-man roster, he's probably going to get released, and there's going to be a team to, to pick him up and then see about working him out to see if he's going to be able to fit their offense. So that is the latest rumor out there right now. Andy Isabella, is he available? Is there teams actually interested in this young wide receiver that's just looking for an opportunity? Let me know what you guys think right now, guys. Do you think that this rumor has any weight? Put everything in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching, and go Cards!